In this example with a while loop, we're going to keep going and keep going asking the user their name until they enter the name Dave. So um, what I've got here is basic program, please enter your name, and the variable username gets the value of whatever's ready. Now, what I'm going to do now is start a loop. While, I'm going to look at the username variable, and while it is not equal to and because I'm using a string here, I've got to put the text that I want to compare it to in speech marks. If I was comparing it to another variable, then um, I wouldn't put the variable name in speech marks. Press enter, and it'll put me an end while in. And I'm going to put the code in that I want to um, use. So I'm going to take this message line. I'm going to say, yo, Dave. Please enter your name again. And really important, I need to take these two lines of code where I ask the user to enter their name and save it over into the username variable. I need to put those inside the loop as well. In fact, I don't need to put that one in because I've already asked them to enter their name there. So this, once they enter their name again, will save what they've typed in into the username variable. And the line after the loop finishes, I'm going to put hello like that. There we go. So that will it'll ask them to enter their name. It'll save what they've typed in into the username variable. If their name is not Dave, it will drop into this loop and keep saying, you're not Dave, please enter your name again. And get them saving what they type in into username until they enter the name Dave, in which case the loop will end and move on to this line and write hello Dave. Let's see if it works. Please enter your name. Okay. Now here's a slight problem. Um, if I type that in, that's not Dave with a capital D, so the computer won't recognize that as being um, a valid input. So what, ha what happens is, you, well, in order to cure this, I've done a few extra videos um, in another playlist called extra tips and tricks. So you need to have a look at the one about lowercase in there. But that's incorrect because I've got to have an exact match like that, Dave. And then the loop finishes and I get that hello Dave one. So that's how to use a while loop with a string and with not equal.